thank you very much. Um, you know, um, I got into uh, uh, this job, or rather this appointment, in a very dramatic manner. Me and my, 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 my department, as it will, it will be called, to actually uh, represent the, 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 the trade issues. That docket, you will have a problem. It was just one minute of self-doubt. Um, because obviously they asked me questions I wasn't very uh, comfortable with, and I flipped. If you looked at the papers of this great lady, it did not match with the lady who came for the interview. We are not saying Kante is not qualified. We say Kante is not suitable. You know, that one minute of self-doubt for me, um, I knew I had to uh, turn it around into an opportunity. And I hope that I have. My first impression of Phyllis Kandie when I met her at the Nairobi Serena Hotel was that she was shy. Even our conversation was a bit strained initially as I explained to her the nitty gritties of our interview. But Phyllis is far from shy as I eventually found out. A lot of people, the first approach, uh, the first time you meet me, I'm a quiet person. Because I listen first and, you know, um, get to know whom I'm, I'm talking to. Um, but once you get to know me, I'm a very easy person. It was an initial impression that in May last year almost cost her the East African Affairs, Commerce and Tourism docket to which she had been nominated as Cabinet Secretary. Her demeanor during the vetting process before the Parliamentary Committee on Appointments. Now, um, we... The, 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 what was unsatisfactory to most despite her impressive resume enough for them to initially reject her nomination you may say and i don't know what is the shyometer mr speaker that she is shy but the person who is going to project the image of this country to tourists must be somebody who is not shy moses of old mr speaker was a stammerer it did not stop him mr speaker from leading the people of israel to Canaan, Mr. Speaker. Um, it's, 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 it's been a tough six months, I must say. It is with great courage that this 50-year-old admits that the path taken since that vetting process in May hasn't been easy. I was very, very lucky um, that I got a lot of support from a lot of people. Um, you know, from people I don't even know um, that have been sending messages of goodwill of encouragement just as it is with great determination that she confesses that the experience only served to make her stronger and more resilient a lot of these things is is, is experience and the will to learn um, i believe that in the past in the last six months i have done that um, and, and, and i'm totally uh, you know i totally understand my job i totally expect uh, you know understand what is expected of me and we're very clear, uh, together with my team, where we want to go as a ministry. This former director of the Standard Investment Bank, who is a Bachelor of Commerce holder from St. Mary's University, Canada, and a Master's degree holder from Middlesex University in the United Kingdom, describes herself as more of a doer than a talker, insisting, however, that her quiet nature has in no way compromised her vibrant docket, which she says is right up her alley. A lot of... Um, the things I'm doing now, it's quite familiar. It, it was just, you know, trying to bring, um, you know, uh, build the synergies again, uh, you know, of the three former ministries. And for us, really, it's to focus on facilitating, as I said, um, access to markets. What I'm doing at the East African level, we are widening the markets for our private sector. When she is not the cabinet secretary, Phyllis Kandia is a wife and mother. I'm blessed with um, two boys. They're big boys. They're not young, young boys. And I think I'm lucky in a way because this job came at the time when, you know, they're saying, OK, mom, you can please focus on the job. A 19-year-old who's just joined Leeds University um, to, to take law. And then I have a young 22-year-old uh, who's just qualified as a pilot. And when she is not working, 
I do, I do go to the, to the gym a lot, um, and that has in the morning. I'm an early riser, so I'm in the gym in the morning and working out. That's my me time. Her New Year resolutions. New Year's resolution, very interesting. Um, I don't actually come up with resolutions because... <laughs> Uh, you know, because it's, 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 it's quite difficult in terms of what we want to achieve in the year. Um, we're very clear what we want to achieve. Um, you know, I have a job to do, and, and for me that's really number one, um, that we, we will achieve what we set out to, to achieve. 2014 holds great promise for Phyllis as her docket for a woman keen on letting her work speak for itself. I'm a finisher. I, knew, I, I didn't know where I would end up, but I knew I was going somewhere. Evelyn Wambui for the Newsmakers 2013 series.